Mike Stanton. It's June 21st. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Grant Dewey, head of BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike. So another uh, strong week for new issue volume. The market's still getting used to the Juneteenth holiday. We had a pause in trading in the middle of the week on Wednesday, but a lot of deals before that and then a few deals afterwards. What did you see? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, last week we had uh, May CPI surprised, uh, you know, materially to the downside. So that's kind of helped provide a pretty firm uh, footing uh, for the fixed income markets. Uh, this week, as you mentioned, the holiday on Wednesday, but it was still pretty active. And then last week we had the FOMC uh, and CPI, which I just mentioned. So, um, you know, of course, CPI came in at 0.2%, which is a, a, the uh, slowest reading in three years. So, um, you know, the, the markets have been doing well. A few hours after that, attention turned to uh, Chairman Powell, who, who uh, you know, acknowledged that CPI, you know, was uh, numbers was uh, were a welcome improvement, uh, but also noted that he needs to see you know, more kind of good inflation data before moving to cut rates. So that provide, provided a pretty strong backdrop. We have a 10-year Treasury yields are seem to have kind of settled in the 420 to 430 range. That's after hitting a peak in April of a 470. And uh, so the markets have come down. And as you mentioned, that, that brings, uh, you know, a fair amount of, of new supply. I think um, typically the holiday weeks are going to be a little bit slower next week. We're back up to 12 billion or, or so. Um, and, uh, and that tends to creep a little bit higher. Um, the, uh, but I think that, you know, we have increased comfort that the Fed can start to cut rates. And so we do expect, you know, supply to, to continue. We're going to end the first half up 40% versus last year. And we expect more of that in the third quarter. And we saw this week, uh, you know, municipal bond mutual fund inflows continue to be modestly positive, a little over $100 million of inflows. Again, that's not soaking up all the supply, certainly. Um, but between that and the uh, maturing and, uh, and, and right. uh, bonds and other uh, interest payments, that it, the uh, new entry deals do seem to be finding homes fairly well. This week, uh, BAM insured a $44 million uh, transaction for the Sand Springs Public Schools in uh, Oklahoma. That was through the Tulsa County Industrial Authority and priced by D.A. Davidson. Uh, you mentioned next week's calendar is uh, picking up a little busier. What it, uh, what's standing out for you? Yeah, so uh, there are a couple uh, California deals. There's a Lancaster, California lease deal, uh, as well as a Mammoth Capital Improvement lease deal. So BAM's going to be uh, used on both of those deals. Those total about $100 million. Uh, also, there's a um, $35 million Uniontown, Pennsylvania deal uh, where BAM's going to be used. Uh, Barclays is underwriting a large uh, tax-exempt portion on Wisconsin for the Marshfield uh, Clinic. Um, it looks like uh, they are going to utilize insurance for uh, por uh, BAM insurance for a portion of that, maybe the longer-term bond. So we'll, we'll wait and see what happens there. But, you know, should continue to be, um, you know, a, a, a good market for BAM. And, and I think the all the supply will give us a further boost uh, for our business. Great. Thanks for those uh, reflections. Grant, uh, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, Mike.